Okay, let's talk about Tor network. For those of you who are not familiar with Tor, let me take a moment and explain what is it all about. Tor or the Onion Network is a software bundle for enabling anonymous communication. Tor directs internet traffic through a worldwide volunteer network consisting of several thousand relays to hide users' location and usage from anyone conducting network surveillance or traffic analysis. Using Tor makes it more difficult for internet activity to be tracked back to the user, but not impossible, I should say. Tor encrypts the data, including the destination IP address, multiple times and sends it through a virtual circuit of randomly selected Tor relays. Each relay decrypts a layer of encryption to reveal only the next relay in the circuit in order to pass the remaining encrypting data onto it. The final relay decrypts the innermost layer of encryption and sends the original data to its destination without revealing or even knowing the source IP address. So, in theory, the network is pretty much secure and anonymous. But as you may heard during last week's, many Tor Relays servers have been compromised. And moreover, there are techniques including but not limited to statistical traffic analysis and social engineering that can be used to compromise Tor users. These news seem to compromise the whole idea of using Tor for anonymity, but actually most of these risks can be avoided if you follow simple rules and hold to the common sense all the time. In this course, we will go through the steps you can follow to minimize the risks of being de-anonymized while setting up and running your hidden website or web service. You will never get 100% guarantee, but at least you will be aware of the problem and will know what to do not to expose yourself at once. So, as you may have guessed, Tor can also provide anonymity to websites and other servers. Servers configured to receive inbound connections through Tor are called hidden. This server don't reveal server's IP address and its network location because hidden server is accessed through its onion address that ends in .onion and is accessible only usually via the Tor browser. Thus, the Tor network preserves the anonymity of both the server itself and the visitor of such website or web service. Due to the fact that hidden services do not use exit nodes, connections of hidden service is encrypted end-to-end. -end. Tor network is decentralized by design. There is no direct list of all hidden services, although there is a number of hidden services catalogs with publicly known onion addresses. Darknets are overlay networks which use public internet but which require specific software or configurations or authorization to access. The dark nets which constitute the dark web include small, friend-to-friend, peer-to-peer networks as well as large popular networks like Tor, operated by public organizations or individuals. So, in general, darknet websites are two things. They operate on encrypted networks, which are not generally reachable, and they are hidden from search engines and are not indexed in any way, being found through darknet catalogs or special forms, etc.